So um, regarding the question, what is the rationale for this study I presented? Um, so elderly patients uh, are about 60% um, in primary sinus lymphoma patients and these elderly patients require um, a dedicated treatment. You cannot treat them like younger patients and therefore um, we thought about designing an effective protocol for elderly patients combined with the agents we know. And this uh, study I presented was uh, based on a pilot trial where we already received quite good data uh, in elderly primary sinus lymphoma patients. So regarding the study population, um, we included 112 patients into the study. We had to exclude around five because they were not meeting the eligibility criteria. So we ended up with 107. Of those, 70 were treated according to the RMPL protocol. But um, during the study, we found out that there was some significant toxicity. So we reduced the protocol to the RMP. So we dropped the L, which is lomostin. Um, however, we still saw uh, similar effectiveness, but less toxicity. Um, and the primary endpoint of that study was the complete remission rate um, after the full completion of the um, intended treatment. Um, so we initially thought it should be at least 40%. Um, however, we did not really reach that um, because um, all these uh, toxicities that occurred and also the relatively long uh, time of treatment was probably a bit too much for these elderly patients. That's what we learned from that study. So we really have to ask ourselves whether this endpoint is the correct endpoint at that time or whether we should not consider other endpoints in this um, particular elderly population. Um, regarding um, other endpoints, um, we also of course measured progression-free survival, which is a typical endpoint in, in oncology, and there we saw a median uh, progression-free survival of around 11 months. Um, the overall survival uh, was longer, up to 22nd month, which is due to um, effective treatments after the RMP or RMPL protocol. Um, especially we did not see a difference regarding progression-free and overall survival between the RMP P and RMPL protocol and um, therefore we're confident to say that the effectiveness is definitely the same for RMPA uh, for RMP sorry but with less toxicity. Uh, regarding quality of life, we also collected this information. However, um, we have not analyzed um, this information yet. This is an important outcome for elderly patients. However, the problem always with um, measuring quality of life and also collecting is that they're often missing. This is known in oncology. Uh, we have to look in our database um, how frequent uh, quality of life was really evaluated by the investigators or not. Um, so with respect to um, other um, studies in elder primary in Islam former patients, one basic problem is that there are no um, or they are not no, but there are really sparse prospective data um, including elderly primary sinus lymphoma patients. We recently conducted a systematic review of the literature and uh, we found really not much. Um, and compared to these prospective data, our data um, compare quite favorably um, with uh, some, some improvement of a progression-free and overall survival. But still there is a lot to be done to further improve the prognosis.